Welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just be logged into your credentials like this way. And once you're done with that, now I'm going to tell you the most important part of this lab. Now what you do, here you can see your second project ID. Just simply copy like this way, come back over here, click over here and just simply search for it. If you're not able to find the project ID over here, then just simply refresh the page and again just simply perform the step over here. Again, I'm saying you had to perform all the tasks on the second project ID, not on first. Okay, now just simply click over here and then click on this open. Just simply wait and it changes into your second project ID. Now what you do, just search for the VM instance. Open this thing new tab, come back over here, wait for a second now. And from here, just cross verify your second project ID from here, like this way. Okay, now what you do, just click on this create instance. Now for the name, just click on the task number one, just scroll down and from point number five, just me copy this name and make sure that you do not copy this last full stop. Just me copy like this way, come back over here, replace the name like this way. Now for the region and zone from the live instruction, just me check over here. It's already chosen for me, so I'm not going to make any changes. Now just me click on this create button. And if you're not able to find the create button over here, just refresh the page. And again, just me check the progress. Okay, so it's done. Now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. And if you're not able to find the score over here, make sure that you are in the second project ID. Okay, now we are done with the task number one. Now what you do? Now here just simply search for the monitoring. Open this thing new tab. Come back over here. Wait for a second now. Now here you can see groups. Just simply click over here. Wait for a second and then click on this unwanted pop up. And it's done. Now click on this create group. Now for the name, just simply scroll down and from the task number two, point number two, you can see this name. Just me copy like this. I'm again saying do not copy this full stop. Just me copy like this way. Just simply paste over here. Now for the value, just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this instance. I'm again saying do not copy this full stop. Just simply copy like this, come back over here, paste and then click on this done and then click on this create. Now I just simply wait and it's done. Now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now for the task number three, what you do, just simply come back over here. Now here you can see uptime check, just simply click over here. Then click on this create uptime. And for the protocol, just me choose a TCP like this way. Now for the resource type, just simply choose an instance like this way. Now here you can see apply to, just me choose a group. Okay, now just me click over here and just me choose a demo group like this way. Now for the port, just me type 222 because it's mentioned on the lab instruction page. Now just me click on this continue. Just me click on this continue, turn off this toggle and then click on this continue. Now for the title, just me scroll down and from the point number five, you can see this title. Just me copy like this way like this come back over here and paste and then click on this create now just simply wait and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number four what you do just simply come back over here click on this alerting and then click on this create policy just me click over here now what you do just simply scroll down and from the point number seven you can see just me copy this check pass just me copy like this way and just let me search for it if, if you are not able to find over here just let me turn off this toggle now here you can see vm instance just let me click over here now here you can see uptime check just let me click over here now here you can see check pass just let me choose the like this way and just let me cross verify the path okay and then click on this apply and it's done now click on this add filter and for the filter just let me scroll down and here you can see check id just let me copy like this way click over here and just let me search for it click over here it must be equal to and for the value just me copy like this way like this copy like this paste over here like this and then click on this done and it's done now just me scroll down and click on this next now for the conditional type make make sure that it must be matrix upset like this way now click on this next turn off this toggle scroll down and here you can see alert policy name for that just let me scroll down and from the point number 11 you can see this name and make sure that you do not copy any extra space and this full stop otherwise you will not get a score just let me copy like this way just let me paste over here and then click on this next click on this unwanted pop-up and then click on this create policy now just let me wait for a second and it's done. Now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.